Well, this morning we're very pleased to interview another one of our church members about her life at work. So may I introduce to you Elizabeth Van Outgarden, who is a consultant obstetrician at West Cumberland Hospital. So Elizabeth, welcome to you and thank you for agreeing to talk to us. Perhaps you could just say a little bit about how the challenges of this last couple of months or so have affected you in your uh, place of work. Good morning, Godfrey. Yes, thank you very much for inviting me to come and talk a little bit. Um, as you mentioned, I'm an obstetrician at West Cumberland and I have been doing this job for quite a long time and initially found that life didn't seem much changed. Uh, I went about doing my clinics. In fact, I, I was busier initially than I had been and everything seemed fine until about three weeks into the adventure when I suddenly realized we were all very, very tired. Um, and that's because all of us now have had to rethink how we do everything. Every single step that we take, both physically and mentally, has to be relearned. We have to learn a different order of things. We also have to get used to not being able to allow um, partners into with the women that we see. And that's particularly hard when we have bad news. So mm. we have to cope with that and try and find ways of supporting women when they um, have this and I think the other thing is that everybody reacts differently. Um, and so uh, we have, I have a number of colleagues who, from, because of their background, are very nervous because they're at high risk, even though we're not dealing with high risk women. And we've got other people who are very, very ambitious. So everybody's different. Yeah, yeah. And how do you feel that your Christian faith sustains you then in your place of work? Well, I think the main thing for me would be to say that the realization that God is in control even though it doesn't feel like it he is and I have to keep reminding myself of that and uh, that is good and I see that every day when things happen that you you just really know he's there to sustain you and I'm not saying that every day is glorious we've had difficult days but you realize that God upholds you so it does make a difference that um we know this isn't, you know, the only thing that's around. God is in control. Great. Thank you. So how can we, as your Christian brothers and sisters, support you? And in what particular ways might we pray for you? Um, I, I've been talking recently to some of my, my colleagues, um, both medical and nursing and midwifery. And I think the big thing is for us that we at the moment feel a bit disconnected from the world. So an appreciation from uh, church that, that that's just the phase we're in, doesn't mean we're not interested in what's happening, but it's taking a lot of our energy mm -hmm. uh, and time. So we, it's difficult for us to engage in other activities as well. One of my friends said it, it felt like our work was now our prayer. That was just what we were doing and other people mm -hmm. had time for reflection. Yeah. So an understanding on that level and just for wisdom, patience and, and perseverance, really, to keep going and to just to do our best and to realize some days that will be different to other days. You know, we all get tired, but yeah. <laughs> to keep yeah. going when we and to, to stand up again when we've fallen, shall we say. Yeah, great. Thanks so much, Elizabeth, for talking to us. So let's pray for you now and also for your colleagues and others uh, in the NHS. Thank you. Father, thank you for Elizabeth. Thank you for the work she does. Thank you for the faith that uh, she sustains and the faith that sustains her. Uh, we do indeed pray for patience, for resilience, for the readiness to learn to do things differently where necessary. And also, Lord, somehow to stay connected with her brothers and sisters in Christ, even though she's not physically able to be with them very much uh, and with her we pray for all those who work in the nhs you know lord how grateful we are for every one of them and we pray your peace your protection your help for each one and especially this morning for elizabeth and we pray in jesus name amen amen